Hi, you're with Mike Redding from teacherstraining.com.au where we love to help you motivate, manage and engage your students. Today what I want to do is just show you how to use Google Spreadsheets but specifically how to insert gadgets and graphs into those spreadsheets. Now one of the great things about Google Graphs and Google Spreadsheets is that you can create animated graphs. So normally when you have a graph and you use a spreadsheet formula what you end up with is with uh, just lines and colors on a page. But when you use Google Spreadsheets you can insert graphs and gadgets which actually move and change. So this is what I'm going to show you here is an example of a motion graph. So what I've done is I've just created uh, a demonstration for you of some plants growing in different conditions. So no water or sun, water and no sun and so on. And then we've got some different days which we're taking our readings on and then the size of those plant growth. So over here down the bottom I'm going to have uh, the change over time. The change is going to be in size and you can see here I've got my four uh, different specimens. Down here is where everything moves. Now what you can do is you can make each of the different variables a unique color and a different size so we're going to keep that unique color um, and you can also put labels so it shows up here what you're looking at. Now you'll see as you go on um, that as you play this we've got things that move so over time you can see the date and you can see the label. The other thing here is that you've got some trails. Now you saw that that moved fairly quickly. If you move this little slider here things can move quite a bit slower. You can just change the rate of growth over that. Now one of the things you might notice is that with the labels they all get stuck just down here but if you change the view that you're looking at uh, what will happen is that you can change um, the view there as well. So this is over time. So there's two different ways the motion graph. You can either have the bubble graph which we've just seen just here um, or you can have a bar graph that looks like this. So let me just play this one for you. So obviously the sun and the water grows faster uh, than the other ones. So okay so what I want to do is I want to just show you how do you insert these gadgets into your spreadsheet. Now normally you would go up to insert and then chart if you wanted just a standard chart but we want something that's a little bit different. So Google have created all these different gadgets. So we're going to click on gadget and you will see over here that we have all these different gadgets available to us. So uh, the one we want is the motion chart just here. So all we do is just find the one that you want and you click add to spreadsheet. Now when you add it to the spreadsheet it asks you where do you want the information to be drawn from so you just tell it where the range is. You can put a title in um, and then just apply, apply and close and that will just drop the new gadget in as we can see just here. So if you would like more information about how to motivate, manage and engage your students with or without the use of technology or if you'd like to find out more about how to use Google Docs in your classroom then head over to teacherstraining.com.au and uh, there you'll be able to find lots more information uh, about how to use Google Spreadsheets and the different Google products as well as student engagement and motivation tips. Thanks for watching.